it's Nicole, the math lady. Today we're talking about how to find the surface area of right solids. Now, just so you know, I have been trying to make this video for over a week. I've had computer problems, video camera problems, microphone problems, kids walking in the room problems. Oh my gosh, I'm like gonna go crazy if I cannot get this video done today. So let's do it, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. So when I talk about surface area, I'm talking about uh, prisms, like rectangular prisms, and finding the area of all of the sides. And really, another way to say it is all of the faces. Do you remember how many faces a rectangular prism has? If you said six, you are correct. Watch. We have the one on the front and the one on the back. And then we got one over here and one over here on the sides. And the one on the top, one on the bottom. Those are all of the faces or surfaces. So let's just find the area of each of them and add them all up. Well, the good news is we only have to find three sides and then multiply them by two because the top goes with the bottom, the front goes with the back, the side goes with the side. All right, let's start with the front and the back. It's going to be five times three. And then to make sure we get the second one in, that's just the front, let's do the back by multiplying it times two. Five times three is 15, times two is 30. All right, let's do the sides. We've got three times four, and we're going to multiply it by two to get the other side. Three times four is 12 times two is 24. And let's do the top and the bottom. We've got five as the length, four as the width. Five times four is 20 times two is 40. Now we've got all of the areas of the surfaces. Let's add them all together. We've got 94. Oh, I forgot to give you a label. You know I stink on that. So <laughs> it's going to be 94 inches squared. And that is your answer. Let's try another kind of right solid. Here we have a triangular prism. Well, let's think about it. How many faces does a triangular prism have? Well, we've got a triangle on this side and a triangle on this side. But then we've got a rectangle on the front a rectangle on the back and a rectangle on the bottom. Okay, so we've got five sides here to figure out, but only uh, one, the triangle, is duplicated. So let's do the triangle first. Area of a triangle, one half base times height. So let's do one half. My base is three, my height is four, and we're going to multiply it by two. And the nice part of that is we get to do some canceling. Yeah which just leaves my four times three, which is 12. And we're talking centimeters here. I'll do, it, I'll do all the labels at the end. All right, we've done the triangles. Let's do this rectangle on the front. It's just gonna be seven times five. And there's no duplicating there. We get 35. Let's do the uh, rectangle on the back. It's gonna be four times seven. Four times seven, 28. And the one on the bottom is left. That's gonna be a three by a seven. 3 times 7, 21. All right, let's add them all up. We've got 5, 6, 7, 7, and 8 is 15, and 1 is 16. 2, 4, 5, 8, and 9. So 96 centimeters squared is your surface area for the triangular prism. The last right solid I want to show you is a cylinder. And how do we find the surface area of a cylinder? Well, we have the circle. We know we can find the area of a circle. And then we have to double it, because there's one on the top, one on the bottom. But what is happening in the middle here? Well, I brought a prop today to show you what's going on in the middle of a cylinder. I am got a Chef Boyardee can. I don't know why I have this in my house. <laughs> but I'm going to unwrap the label so you can see how we find out what goes around the center. It is a rectangle. Okay, so let's look at this. The rectangle, well, I have for you, I've given you the width of my rectangle, but what about the length? Well, take a look. It happens to be the circumference of the cylinder, of the circle of the cylinder. So we're going to need to find the area of the top circle, the area of the bottom circle, and then the area of the rectangle. But to find that length, we'll need to find its circumference of that circle. It'll make sense as we go along, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with the circle. Area of a circle, pi radius squared. Let's write it down. And then we're going to need two of them, right? One for the top, one for the bottom. I like writing them right up front so we don't forget about it. 
Okay, so let's do our pi, 2 times pi times radius. And radius here is going to be 3 because our diameter is 6. And let's square it, which means it's going to be a 9. All right, I've got my calculator. 2 times 3.14 times 9 equals 56.52. Okay, now let's do the uh, rectangle. So we've got to do the circumference of the circle to find the length. Circumference, you might remember, is pi times diameter. Well, pi times diameter is pi times 6. And that is 3.14 times 6, 18.84. And we're going to multiply that by my width of my rectangle, which is 4. Let's do that in the calculator. 18.84 times a 4 gives me an area of 75.36. Now, I've got to add this all together. So I'll do it right over here. 56, 52, 75, 36, 8, 13. So 131.88 centimeters squared. That's your answer. So again, surface area is very easy if you can remember just how to find the area of the individual pieces, and then you just add it all up. Not too bad, right? Hey, make sure you check out the practice problems to try a few of these for yourself. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.